Megan the Stallion posted me on her Instagram stories. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, I've been gone for a really long time. That's okay. Let's not. If you don't know, I have anemia. I've been really tired and I still have like a week's worth of iron infusions to do at the hospital, but I've been gone for a minute. Listen, Mermaid came and left. If you're truly interested in what I did for Mermaid, I posted it mostly on TikTok. So, hey y'all. <laughs> How y'all doing? I think what I'm gonna do is talk briefly about this piece. Because it's been a whirlwind. I mean, <laughs> it's been a whirlwind. <laughs> so like a day ago, Megan Thee Stallion uh, dropped her new single, Thought. Thought-ish. Okay, and I, I saw the video. Well, I had, um, somebody was telling me that all these female rappers were gonna drop singles. And I was like, oh, I'm like, I'm gonna hear that. Cause I know it's gonna be an album, this single girl, Hot Girl Summer. And, I was just like, yes, and I saw the video and I was like, I'm gonna make some art. <laughs> and very quickly, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna design this thing of her little iconic outfits from the video. And I was like, let me explain to you how I got to the point where Megan Thee Stallion posted me on her Instagram stories. Let's Let's go. The plan was always to make a quick drawing, like a watercolor, a watercolor drawing, and just post a little TikTok. And I was like, I'll probably use the music of her song, and uh, it'll be a little seven second or fifteen second little. Ooh, child. Okay, come here, Luna. Do your business. Hurry up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So I've made the art piece. I'm, I'm satisfied with its stage that it's in. And I was just like, okay, let's make the first video for the TikTok. And then I was just like, well, I'm gonna hashtag the stallion or something. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna hashtag. I'm gonna at her as one should, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously she's gonna see it. She did see it. She, she, saw, she saw it, she saw it. She's <sighs> very quickly, my stomach jumped out of my soul okay because I saw that she liked it and I was like what you ever screenshot something because you you gotta look back at it later and be like did that happen oh she liked it oh my god I was getting these messages and, and notifications from everywhere and somebody was like oh my god Meg put you on her Instagram story. What? Now Instagram going insane. Okay, but like, okay. At this point, I feel like I should tell somebody. Is LA gonna call me or I do I have to call LA? Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause now I'm obviously famous by association. <laughs> I start getting crazy, crazy amount of tags. Okay, then they're like, oh. She reposted you on TikTok. That means I will like always be on Megan Thee Stallion's TikTok account. Okay, but let's talk about the concept of the drawing. As soon as Luna is done with her business, we can. You ready? You ready? Oh my god! Oh my god! I just really wanted to draw the iconic looks. She had some fire outfits, okay? <laughs> Did you see the video though? Did you see the video though? I can't, can't really talk about the video. I, I try to stay as family friendly as possible. One shot of her uh, dancing on the side of a d trash truck, I guess. And then there's another like diner outfit. And then there's a red and white outfit where she's got like a blonde under curled long bob type look. Out of all the artwork I've ever created, I don't think this is like my favorite or the best, but I was like, I'm... <sighs> I 
and the thing about TikTok is that my my name is automatically stamped on it. Okay, okay. There's so much I want to say about the music video because it it's like the reason I was drawing. <laughs> mm, my God, go watch the video. Uh, I've been really trying to in the past. Mm, the past like three drawings I've done have been sketched with like a color pencil and then I go and I make this messy watercolor and then I, after it dries I go back with uh, watercolor and I try not to focus too much on having the appropriate color in the appropriate spot so in these three images Megan is her skin's not like drawn in with brown the watercolor is actually the watercolor is a little brown mostly red but I will say this it was a lot of fun to do because every time I do watercolor, I find myself trying to make everything really, really perfect. If you remember somewhere on my channel, I do the Corey Kenshin uh, like ink and watercolor one. And I was just trying to get everything to look just like him, just perfect. I was not trying to do that with this. And I just wanted it to, it to be like wild and colorful and fun. And uh, I really, I like how it turned out. I just since I'm trying to express myself differently with watercolor, it wasn't something that I was like trying to parade on like one of the biggest <laughs> accounts on social media right now. But it's there and I love that it's there and I'm just really, really happy. I said what I said. Thank you for not unsubscribing. Thank you, Megan the Stallion, for noticing my video. <laughs> wow, that's so weird. That's so weird. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Oh my God. Thanks so much for watching. You know, I'll have links to everything in the bottom and whatnot. And just, if you like the materials I use and stuff, stuff like that will be in the bottom in the description and in the cannot believe I cannot believe it you thought I had a listen I got a big head now nah. got a big head now nah. I like how I mentioned Corey Kenshin while wearing his merch <laughs>